YouTube. So, I'm not gonna lie. I've heard people talk about this game, bro. I've heard people talk about this game. Apparently, um, I don't know what it's mainly about. I'm guessing it's in the title, Bad Parenting. It's something about parents and a child. But I didn't know it was on some old 2002 VHS stuff. I ain't gonna lie, I've been seeing niggas spam that in other niggas' chats and uh, other places and shit like that. I did a little research on it. I wouldn't say a lot of scary game niggas played this game. But scary niggas, scary game niggas played this game. I'm not gonna lie. And it just came out too. It's called Bad Parenting, bro. Uh, apparently, I guess it's popular, maybe. Who knows? But I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking because I don't know anything about this game at all. But I seen it has some type of hype around it. So, you know what I gotta do. Let's go ahead and get into it. Official or watch it in the time. Let's get it, man. Let's go. I love you, Jay. Story one. Mr. Redface. They got different like arcs like here's the fathom. The world. Uh Ew, this is sound like a Game Boy game. Ew, bruh. Why it sound like that when the text is moving? Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But today is my birthday. Oh, oh, of course, I know that. Then where's my gift? Sound like 2K ungrateful. Um, have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? Uh, no. The fuck? On the birthday of the good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nigga. At this point, bro, just, just go to fucking cookout or some shit, my nigga. Like, go, go, go get some food or something, bro, with her or something, bro, at, at most, bro. Anytime someone tell you that bullshit, bro, yeah, just, yeah, you're not getting shit but socks and a mug. She probably gonna give this nigga some socks and a mug, bro. Call it a day. Really? But of course it's gullible, nigga. Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right now, mom. You're fooling the kid again? Why is this nigga's face like this? How many times have you come, come home this late? I was working and my shift ended late. Bullshit! You're still thinking I'm an idiot? Don't you? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, nigga! Hey, little shit, get back to your room! Nigga! Who you think you're talking to like that? Don't stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversation. Oh, I think this is about, like, parents beating on kids, I think. Right? Okay. Dumb nigga. You see how this nigga talking to me? Talking to me all crazy and shit. What's wrong with him? Like, well, that's kind of a girthy house. But kind of a one-way setup, though. It's like a one-way street. For real, for real. Which one in my room? How do I go in places? How do y'all sleep at night? Do y'all sleep with TV on, TV off, night light, no lights, pitch black? I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I went through every single era. Is it crazy that... See, that lightning almost got me. It ain't get me, though. It ain't get me, though. Daddy? That you? Ooh. Oh, so this nigga with my gift. The f 
fuck? What type of sleep paralysis ass dream, bro? That's some sleep paralysis shit, bro. Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way! Hi, I'm Ron. What's up, Ron? What? You can you can talk? Bro, what type of Coraline ass storyline is this? Of course, because I was created by magic. Now this ain't Coraline. This is just some random Disney ass storyline, bro. I can't own no dolls, bro. The only doll I ever had where was a Scooby Doo one, bro. I'm sorry. That's right. My master made me just for you. Master? So, Mr. Redface, the master? But your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What's important is that now on, I'll be your best friend. It sounds wonderful. Do you want to play something with me? Hmm, my master store my toys in the closet. Can you get them for me? I got you, Ron. The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? Bro, I can't get this closet open, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It sucks to suck, man. Sorry, Ron. I tried my best. I can't open it. You want me to do something else? I'm hungry. Me too, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. You and me both, bruh. You and me fucking both. You're a dog. Can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating. But I'll be able to feel everything you eat. My master, Link. Oh, see, I don't play with that voodoo shit, bro. Nah, that's some voodoo. That's some voodooism, bruh. I don't like that, bro. That's some, like, African ritual stuff, bro. I don't like that. I don't like that. I do not like that at all, man. I don't like that. Wow. That's amazing. I ain't that great, my nigga. If I throw this nigga right now, would I feel that shit? So when this nigga have to stay on me at all times? You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? That's a lot of reading, bruh. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, you got that one, Ron. Not me, though. God damn. Pop's been drinking his life away, bruh. This a fat, fat, fat bottle of tequila, bro. God damn. Pop's feeling a little naked tonight. I know what he's trying to do. There we go. It's stuck. What? Oh, I thought someone was standing right here. Oh my god. My heart look he just sunk. I thought someone was standing. I thought these was actual like legs, bro. This pizza? Huh? How I drop this nigga? Duran. How I drop you, bro? There we go. Can I feed it to this nigga? Or no? What I do with it? Alright, warm that bitch first. Hell yeah. Alright, twin. Bone apple tea. Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Nigga, I'm starving, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I can care less about what you do for entertainment, man. I'm just trying to eat. Yes, please! Alright. I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, dish will be restored to its original state. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of fire, though. 
Do it! Wow, that's amazing! What else can you do? Hold on, Ron, you feeling a little... I know you was a drinker, nigga. Bro, throw it at her. Oh my god! The fuck? The fuck was that, Ron? Is that what happened when you can do all that drinking, bruh? Hold on, bruh. See, now I gotta add to the list. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do all of that, bro. <sighs> Nigga, what was all of that? I don't know. You guess? Oh no, the, the bottle. My dad's gonna whip whip my ass. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry. My master has taken your dad away. What did you say? Huh? So this nigga purposely made him leave my life? Like it wasn't by choice this time? Ron, what you mean by that? Pops? Where Pops' room at? Pops? Pops! The fuck? Where my dad at? As I said, my master has taken your dad away. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken by my master to protect children like you. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. Bro, my dad, bro, he's one of them, I mean, he was an asshole at times, bro, but he was just harsh. Just tough love type shit, bro. He never really once gone and get, got the milk. I ain't gonna lie. He is a bad person. No, he's not. Please let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Man, just show me the way, my nigga. The shortcut is through your closet. You're telling me I gotta go through a portal, my nigga? To get to this nigga? And where's the mother at? You still can't open it? That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use the parents' closet then. You can stop playing with me, bro. This nigga's trolling me, bro. I don't like that. What is he trolling like wrong? What are you doing all this trolling for? You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. I can go to Melvin Cancun if I wanted to. There's nothing in here. All right, I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate the shortcut. Oh my gosh, bro. Why didn't you tell me this beforehand, bruh? Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. This nigga got a boom box? I can't even see in this low... Oh, never mind. This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. That's why I mean some outlast shit, bruh. Had to tune the radio shit. Ron, that's the right one. So you coming with me or like you just gonna like house it? Alright, fuck it. We out. The fuck? Seems like that's not it. Let's try again.
Nigga, I gotta go to Bikini Bottom, nigga. What type of... The fuck are you? Nigga, I'm not wrong. Wrong. I am not playing with you, bro. There we go. That's it. That's the one. I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Alright, and just in case, how do I get back? Alright, bet. Just making sure. Who in the shit are you? This place is like a goddamn hotel or something, bro. Y'all got register, ladies? What's up? Bro, this is a big fever dream, bro. I feel like that's what this game is, bro. This is one big fever dream. I'm looking for my pops. Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. There are many Bruce's here. Any detail? Any more details? Uh, I don't know. Five ten, super black, thick ass mustache, look like Eddie Murphy. Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Shit, I mean, like, he, he had his moments, but I think he, he a pretty cool nigga. Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There are still many bad Bruces. More specifies. Please, what else does he do? He often yells. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about this nigga, bro, besides him screaming? Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me. What the fuck is this game? It's called Bad Parenting. It slaps. Da damn, nigga. And. That's all. So, th I know nothing about this nigga, bro. I don't know where he works. I don't know what he does. I just know he just yells and slaps me. That's all I know. He yells and whoops me. The door is behind you. What the fuck is this? Door? This is a campfire? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm playing bad parenting. Boo! You thought you got it, nigga? You ain't get shit, nigga. You ain't get me, nigga. Fuck around with this nigga, man. You ain't get nothing. Come on, man. Good try, though. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not up my scares, though. Aha, he just got startled. You playing horror games? Uh, this whole month I was trying to play at least one horror game a stream. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna play Amanda's Adventure 2 next. Yeah, that's what I... Who are these niggas, bro? Just like you, we're kids on our way to find our parents. Wait, so all y'all got in this forest? How long have y'all been here? We're staying here for a bit. You wanna join us? No, nigga! Alright, bet you can. You can drop some games. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry, my nigga. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I got some mac and cheese in the fridge with my name written all over it, bro. That little ass spaghetti bowl didn't do nothing for me. Okay, see you later. The fuck? Who? Why are you in a hole? Um, I guess I'm going over here. Let me get it after. Is this the registered lady? Who's this? Oh, this is the dad! I forgot the dad do look like that, bro. I forgot this nigga do look like a fucking centipede. Please. Stop punishing me. It's me, dad. Please. Stop punishing me. 
Yo. This nigga must have the meanest sleep paralysis ever, my nigga. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home. Or Mr. Redfist will take both of us. Please, stop punishing me. Did this nigga only get this nigga one line, bro? Mr. Redface got you that bad, bro? He got you tripping out like this? Wait till I find that red face nigga. Where he at? Don't worry, Pops. I'm gonna stop that nigga. Spell. S-P-E-L. See, bro, that wasn't a scare, bro. That ain't count as no goddamn scare, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, that ain't count as no scare, bro. I just got ready, bro. I got, I got ready. I was guarding myself. Can you check? Bro, I'm still on sit, bro. It's been 29 minutes, bro. What's happening? Damn. Extended ass neck. Hey, what's wrong with you? Hey, look, if she posts, uh, you know, if she posts something on her story, I ain't gonna lie. If she, I'm gonna let you know. If she posts something on her story and still didn't hit me back, it might be clipped. I ain't gonna lie. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me check if I'm still followed, though. I'm pretty sure I'm still followed, though, right? Tight shit. <laughs> You're making sure, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you really got to check in on shit. Sometimes you really got to check in on stuff, bro. I'm not going to lie. Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface is taking dad. This nigga the size of the doll. Oh. Well, that's a good thing, then. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. What type of family am I in? Holy shit. Okay, this... Damn. Well, um... I mean, I was trying to do you a favor and save him, but, uh... If it's fucking with you, then, uh... I guess it's fucking with me. Because I ain't gonna lie. All he, all he does is yell and slap me, my nigga. Why the hell would I want this? I'm not joking. It's a long story. Let me explain. How's your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? The doll? Mom, how do you know about it? Of course I know. Since you haven't taken your medicine today, this isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always that you, that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? Uh, what are you talking about? No. Sigh. I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. You alright, Mom? Uh, is it something specific you looking at? They got like Flintstone type of builds in here, bro. Everything's so blocky, but this was based off in 2002. Alright, I'm to sleep. I go, mom. Huh. All right, you get a lot of sleep because I ain't gonna lie. You you just staring at the wall right now. You kind of freaking me out, but. Look, uh, I'm, a, I, I'm ahead to sleep. All right, I, I love you. Oh, type shit. Ron, what the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. What's that? Hey, no, no, get on me. What just happened, son? Are you alright? Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Fine, bruh. I don't even feel safe with the mom watching me sleep. Do you feel better now? Yeah, mom. It's Mr. Red F It's alright. Tomorrow, I'll take it off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mom. Pretty please. I promise. I ain't gonna lie, bro. 
Y'all, y'all parents ever like when y'all had like sick days from like school or anything like that, bro? Y'all parents ever nurtured y'all, bro? Like gave y'all some like breakfast or some shit, made y'all breakfast while y'all was sick, breakfast in bed, anything like that, bro? Or nah, y'all just had to thug it out while y'all just sick, bro? Now go back to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, as a matter of fact, nah, it was a couple times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a couple times. Them grits and that grits and bed kind of did hit at certain points, though. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, mom, where you go? Mom? Uh, you broken the promise again. I ain't gonna lie, he don't go like. Bro, but god damn it. There's no like close house phone he could just call or some shit, my nigga, like to see where she at. Huh? <gasps> the fuck? Run on! What happened to you? My master beat the shit out of me. God damn, nigga! He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mo have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken oh my gosh. What? It just happened. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop him. You should run away because he'll come back soon to take you too. No, I gotta save my mom and my dad too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? Yeah, he fucked you up. But this is the difference though. I'm actually life size. I found this at my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly. Go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. Don't worry. Fuck that Mr. Red face. Mr. Red, red fat fuck. That tubby guy. Quickly, throw the spell in here and take cover. Bitch! Throw that motherfucker. I throw it. Go, 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 go. What's happening? Is something blow up? Is something gonna blow up? Ron, what the fuck? I threw it. What the fuck happened? Somebody did wrong? Oh shit. What are you ready to do? Not my mama. Not my mama. That didn't help my problem at all. What's happening to you? My master has been defeated. The magic he cast on me is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. They're back? Damn, hit her with that boondock special, my nigga. You have been having an affair, haven't you? 
Uh, I told you I was busy with work. Liar! I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> this nigga must have been... Uh, he must have been rich, or he must have been funny or something, my nigga, because, bro... I don't even know how to explain what this nigga looked like, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. You neglected this for family? For another man? Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? And what about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just an at-home leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? Now, guys, 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 come on. It don't gotta be like this, alright? We could be one loving, happy family. I think the game just came on. Listen, somebody order pizza. I'll turn the game on. I'll get it on goddamn the Files HD channel. And we just be one good family. And we don't even got to order none. We got popcorn too if y'all want to just do it like that. No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home and support my child. Oh, fuck. She calling this nigga broke. Me personally, Pops, I don't know if I would take that shit. I ain't gonna lie. You just think, think I'm a whore? You're lowering yourself even below that. Damn! One more word. Fine. You and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out this house. And if you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. But... Dad, where you go? Dad. Alright, come on. Get off the tequila, bro. It don't ever be that serious, man. You don't gotta do all that extra drinking shit, man. It never be that serious, bro, at all, bro. God damn, he chugging the fuck out of that thing. Why are you looking at me? I'm gonna let this happen. That? You feel... You got a little tipsy. Your face is looking a little different. That? Is that me? Am I looking at me? As a matter of fact, I don't even think my mom got that far down the street. I think I can still catch up with her. Dad, I'm about to ride my bike real quick, all right? I'll see you at six. No, no, no. This cannot be true. I'm very, so I'm, I'm very sorry, Ron. Wait, I'm Ron? I thought the doll was named Oh, okay. Your closet. I think you're able to open it now. Nigga, why would I try that? Nigga, my daddy just got damn fucked. No, nigga. The fuck? Nigga, he walked towards that way. Let me out the house. I might need the drink, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta slowly creep in. Nani? This is m me? Why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. Because I am the knowing part of you. So you're like my self-conscious? You tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to the reality. I've tried many times, many ways to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. And every time I fail, guess what happens? Tick tock, boom! And all the memories disappear. You once again wake up at the starting point, which is the night your dad murdered you. Huh? He did what now? How long have I been dead? 14 days. Damn, nigga! 14 days? Two weeks? 
It can't have been that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room. Bro, they couldn't even acquire this nigga blanket, bro. This nigga cold as hell. Am I a zombie? Go home. Go home with me, dad. Did I just eat my father? At the beginning, the door opens 14 times to show how many days it took to find him. I did not peep that at all. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I did not peep that whatsoever, bruh. What about my mom? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right. Because she's only home late at night. But if it's daytime... Son? Huh? <gasps> she see the new Oh, that's fucked. That's that's so fucked. Oh, that's so fucked. So is my character in the afterlife? Who in the hell? clues about your husband's hiding place you just dropped something man what is that it's a motel card but I'm not sure it's mine Father arrested. Wow. RP the little nigga then. He was just watching his own demise, bruh. So were all those kids in their spirits too? Or no? What's going on, CJ? Freak ass. What's up, man? Damn. Ron is just a spirit helping his mom. That was a spell to... Defeat him. The spell or motel card. Oh. Wait, so there's more parts? Fuck. Fuck. Is there anything after the ending credits or no? That was quite something. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That that was that was definitely quite something.
but they're coming. If you look back at the end, you can see how the other kids. Oh, so they all wait. So all the shit. So wait. So at the end, it showed Ron being in the closet. He died in the closet. It showed the other kid in like this little like dug up part or some shit. That's how they died, I guess. Or am I just chatting? Am I just trying to be Inspector Gadget and I don't even know what the fuck I just said? I ain't gonna lie. So when the other kids' stories come out? Bad parenting story explained. I'm gonna watch this. Let me get these out the way. Bad parenting. Get ready to be strapped in because this game is one emotional roller coaster of a ride. And disclaimer, I'm about to spoil the game for you. A 90s cartoon style horror game in which you play the perspective of Ron, a single child in an abusive family home. Through the entirety of the game, Ron doesn't realize he is living in limbo. The night of his birthday, Ron receives a doll that looks a lot like him from Mr. Redface. And the purpose of this doll is to help guide Ron to the truth of his death. The doll reveals to Ron that his dad has been taken away by Mr. Redface for being a bad person. But despite that, Ron begs the doll to let him go. The doll takes Ron to the realm of in-between where he finds his dad being punished and begs for the suffering to end. There Ron finds a blue paper with the word spell on it. Okay. Because of this, the doll reveals that Mr. Redface was not happy about him helping Ron so he takes his mom away as well. Returning back to the realm of in-between, Ron finds his mom crying in a room. The doll tells Ron to quickly throw the spell into the room and hide. The doll then tells Ron that Mr. Redface has finally been defeated and the magic cast on the doll is fading. With the spell being broken, Ron finds his parents in the hallway, excitedly telling them they are free. But we soon come to realize that the parents don't see Ron and instead we are met with an argument happening between the parents. Mm. Feeling his anger with alcohol, the dad reveals himself to be Mr. Redface. Mm. This rage yep. pushes the dad to take action and unalive his son. He is then stuffed in a closet for 14 days, left to rot. Confused, the doll tells Ron that he is the knowing part of Ron and that he was reliving these moments over and over again because he kept denying the truth about his dad. After the discovery of Ron's death, the mom oh. is seen to be crying in a room where she is being questioned. Hell fucking cops. dead, bro. The cops ask Fuck the that nigga. whereabouts, but the mother doesn't know. I should have left him for dead However, at that point, bro. Fuck paper that is guy. Then found on the floor that had the address of the motel I ain't that gonna the dad lie. had run away to. In the end, Ron has accepted the truth of his death, the dad is taken away, and the mom was able to lay his son to rest. Ron then joins the three kids in the realm of in-between, where we are revealed about their symbolic deaths. L. Parents. I ain't gonna lie, bro. L fucking L, bro. L fucking L fucking parents, bro. I ain't gonna lie. L parents. L father, my nigga. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie, L parents, bruh. L abusive parents. L abusive parents, bruh. Mm mm mm. Fucking, fucking, fucking fucks. Fuck those guys, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> you know, some people just don't deserve to have kids, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. They don't. And taking it out on the kid is the craziest thing in the fucking world to me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I never really agreed on that ever in my life. Ever in my life, bro. The parents are supposed to be the guy. Especially when he's the only child. The parents are supposed to be the guy for the kid's life, bro. To guide him in the right path. Lead him in the right direction. It just sucks, bro. How some people have to grow up with that, bro. But W game, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of actually a very deep story, bro. That's kind of a really deep story when you think about it, for real, bro. W game, though. W game. Quick game. Quick horror game. 
official ride to the end of time. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video.